Hey guys, please uh, forgive my disheveled look. It's uh, hotter than hell out here right now, and I just finished cutting the lawn. So um, this week, and uh, probably for maybe a month or so, uh, month month's worth of videos, I'm going to be making a boring head. I figure I'll do a piece per video, and. Uh, Maybe these these couple smaller pieces I'll put into one video, but uh, we'll see. Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the boring head, what it does is actually this is upside down. So let me show you like this. Uh, we'll use this as an example. This here is the actual boring head. It would have some sort of attachment here to put it into a chuck, and it would sit sort of like this. If I can take this out of here. That'll sit like that, and then that goes up. This this little lip here is the bottom piece of this, you can see. So, that sits like that. And then, let me just put this back together here, because I need these two. And then, uh, you have the three holes in the bottom here that can receive any sort of cutter. Uh, and the cutter the cutter that goes in any one of these three holes goes like this. It's straight and then that's where the bottom is. Say it's in the bottom hole or the middle hole, there's another hole. There's another hole. And then usually what happens is it tapers down and then it's got something like that on it. And then this point here is what actually does all the cutting. So it's, a, it's what's called a single point cutter. And this thing spins, it spins inside here and allows you to make specific sized holes or oversized holes. I only have a half inch drill so this will allow me to make anything larger than half an inch. Uh, some, some will also have a hole right there so you can put a cutter out the side and make even larger holes. Alright, then what happens is this piece here sits on the dovetail, which you create with the gib and uh, this other dovetail inside. Get really close in here. Uh, and then as you feed the screw, what happens is it locks into this piece here. This little narrow point sits in this piece, and that forces this to slide on this. So as you turn the screw, it pushes this piece out, and then you get your size of your hole. So, um, unfortunately, I will be going on vacation for the next week. Um, I do hope to have the first part of this done next week. Um, for next week, I should say. What I'll do is I'll spend the next few days actually machining this uh, and then put it up as a scheduled release and uh, hopefully that'll work and uh, so if I don't see you guys see you in two weeks have a good day two weeks <laughs>